Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Mystic Moonbeam Tarot and today I'm doing Pick a Crystal Ball for the month of August. Please remember the messages I give are general and they're not going to resonate with each and every one of you so just take what fits and leave the rest. Um, I could also be picking up on past energy as well um, or very into the near future energy as well. I have meditated for the month of August but these messages could play out, they could be playing out now or they could play out after August. So just take what fits. So in front of you have two crystal balls. We have crystal ball number one and crystal ball number two. Um, I shall add the timestamps down below in the comments. So if you'd like to choose your crystal ball and I'm going to get stra started straight away on the collective that choose crystal ball number one. So just give me a moment. Let's have a look. Right, crystal ball number one. Now, I do need to say that Archangel Michael is coming through with those that chose this crystal ball. So, I feel like August is going to be a very powerful month for you. Because Archangel Michael is the protector. So, there's something, there's something you're being protected from. There's something you're being shielded from in the month of August is what I want to say. Because Archangel Michael is helping you and protecting you in some kind of difficult situations you've been going through. Or there could be a situation that comes up in August that's going to be difficult, but you need to know you're being protected. I'm feeling someone will need to go back to the drawing board regarding something. There could be issues getting something started or off the ground in the month of August. And this could be why Archangel Michael is coming in to protect. It could be outside interference of you trying to get something off the ground. It could also be that more information is needed as well before plans move forward is what I want to say. Or this information could give you some kind of go ahead someone could also get news of a change of location um in the month of august as well there could also be a message from someone close to you wanting to build back up some kind of connection whether this is romantic platonic it could be family it could be an old friend If anyone is waiting for news about a change, I see this coming in. This could come in within the next seven days, seven weeks or the 7th of a month. It could be the 7th of August. If any of the collective have been going through challenges or events that have been upsetting as well, then you need to know that this will change in August. This could be in regards to someone's fortune because I am seeing good fortune approaching. And this could involve some kind of travel or this good fortune will allow you to travel or allow you to move, move forward, move on. You need to know that spirits are protecting this and they are protecting you, especially Archangel Michael. There are good things to come into your life. And I do feel the month of August is going to be important for these things to come in, this newness. But I do feel strongly there is outside influences or energies trying to stop this. Someone could get answers. Regarding money within the next 28 days as well is what I want to say. These answered, um, they could come in for a female. Someone could be a Pisces. I want to say Cancer and Aries energy. I also want to say as well, if there's been problems in a romantic connection, 
and someone thinking another person is up to something that's not the case you need to know that this person is loyal to you i'm sure i've said this in another divination that i did i'm picking up on problems within a connection will be solved and there will be movement forwards it's like stale energies will be cleared out in the month of August and it's like blocks being uh, removed and lifted as well so you can move forward. Someone could also work by a bridge. That's so random. I've seen like an office type building by a bridge. Someone could also receive some kind of information in the month of August, August as well. This could be in the form of a letter. And this letter brings in success of some kind. There could also be a message about a reconciliation. I'm picking that up. There's a new cycle that will happen and it's going to be successful as well. Now, I do want to say if somebody's, um, somebody could be dealing with an Aries, a Gemini or a Capricorn, or you are this sign, um, you need to be suspicious of a new person in the month of August that's coming to cause some kind of trouble for you in some way. It could be that this person gives you some kind of, um, I want to say false information, which, which it will lead you down a different path. You need to focus on moving forwards and not being dragged down or pulled back by anybody. And this is why I feel strongly Archangel Michael is protecting you in the month of August. It's like there's so many energies wanting to get at you, wanting to stop you, want to, wanting to pull you back down. And you need to know you're protected. You need to remain focused on moving forwards and where you want to go in life. You're heavily protected. Yeah, there's a strong feminine energy coming through the crystal ball. Um, she's showing up really, um, she looks tall, long legs. So it could be a female that you need to be suspicious of in the month, month of August, or there's going to be a female that's going to be significant in the month of August. Someone wants to drag another person in an opposite direction. Pay attention to your instincts. Pay attention to you, what your gut's telling you. If something feels off, it's off. Don't question it. Don't second guess it. I'm also seeing a change of arm for someone in a different town or a different city. Someone could be a Libra or this could be um, Libra season. There's definitely better time showing for a family in August. Yeah, it could be that a family moves to a better neighbourhood or a better location. I'm seeing some kind of disagreement that's going to be happening as well. There could be a fallout at a place of work or a place of study. I'm seeing a disagreement with a friend or a co-worker. Someone could change jobs because of this or because of the argument. Or it could be that the argument will be about one of you advancing in your work. It could be that someone heard about this first and the other person got in there first and got it. So there could be a bit of jealousy around that. Someone could be a water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, I do want to say, if anyone is giving up hope on something that you've, um, I want to say you've been desiring, Spirit want you to keep the faith because there's something positive on the horizon for you that you just can't quite see yet. Someone could also be seeing bright white orbs as well. You need to remain patient. Something you've been wanting or something that you've been desiring is coming in. I'm seeing the number 12 with this. And I'm here in October. So 
October could be the month where it's going to be significant or December, I want to say, with this number 12. Gemini, Libra. I'm also seeing initials P, R, F and C, S, N in someone's name. The month of August, I do feel there's a need to release any toxic energies. You need to cleanse. Because I feel some of you, you may absorb toxic energy and take it into the month of August. August may be the time for you to release people as well. You do have lower energies around you that need to go. August could be the month where you're not letting people take advantage of you. There could be arguments that happen and you need to cleanse as I see these energies clinging to you. So August could be a big sort out in the collective's lives. Someone could also have muscle issues as well or pains in the torso, especially the lower stomach. This is caused by negative energy. So you need to be cleansing and protecting your energy in the month of August. Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn is coming through. I feel in the month of August, there's a lot of the collective stepping into the power. I'm seeing pink wild roses and there's a single peach coloured rose in between the pink roses. So I feel you're going to be standing out in the month of August and showing your individuality. Don't be afraid to stand out. Those that chose this crystal ball, you've got blessings to come from the divine. Someone could also see an apparition as well in a wooded area. There's something strongly about pink roses and there's a peach ro uh, rose sorry, that stands out amongst, amongst these pink roses. So like I said, I do feel the month of August, you're going to be standing out. And you're going to be saying what you mean in August as well and making good choices and sticking to, de sticking to the choices and the decisions that you make. And you just need to know that you are heavily protected by Archangel Michael. So there's something that's going to be kicking off in August for you. Where it's like you're stepping into your power and there's so much energy around you that's trying to bring you back down. Focus on moving forwards. Don't let anything or anyone affect you. So I'm going to move on to crystal ball number two, and I hope that helped. Right, crystal ball number two, let's have a look. God, the energy's, the energy's totally different to crystal ball number one. Um, let me just try and pick up on an archangel. I'm getting a healing energy with this crystal ball. So I feel the month of August, you've got Archangel Raphael that is working with you, crystal ball number two. This Archangel is helping and supporting you on your healing journey. The month of August, some of you could be quitting uh, smoking, drinking. And the flame went tall, so that's a yes. Or well, you need to. If you are thinking of doing that, you need to know you've got angelic help assisting you with this. Some may find themselves in the month of August as well, wanting to go out more, exercise more, eat better. It's like in the month of August, those that chose this crystal ball, I see your motivation picking up and it's going to be picking up quite a lot. I feel you're going to be making a lot of changes. These could be internal changes, if not external changes. I'm just seeing a lot of changes being made. You could also, in the month of August, get urges to do something as well. Listen to that urge and do it, because it's Archangel Raphael urging you and guiding you to do something. This could be giving up a, um, a toxic habit.
I do see someone becoming successful with healing work as well, especially if you work with your hands or you use your hands in a creative way. You need to know the success all around this. I want to say Sagittarius, Taurus, Gemini. The number 22 could be important. Someone could be seeing 222, uh, 2222. There's something about the number 22. I'm seeing someone wanting another person to back off and give them space. I do feel in the month of August, the collective will detach from another person or others that cause too much grief in your life. I feel as if it's draining you. There could be a person around you that pushes your buttons and you're going to be wanting to step away or you need to step away. Someone could be a Pisces, Scorpio or Taurus or you could be dealing with that sign in the month of August. But I just feel someone's, there's someone around you that's pushing your buttons. I'm seeing two sunflowers, so those could be significant with someone. And the number 40, someone could be 40 years of age. Or the number 40 is important. I feel August, someone will be not giving time and energy to something or someone. You're going to be focusing more on yourself or you need to. There may be a break from technology that you need to take as well. And get out more just to unwind. August, I feel for those that chose this crystal ball, it's a, it's a month of healing. But I do feel it's like your energy levels will be picking back up. August, you will be feeling more optimistic and cheerful. And you're going to feel like something has changed on a permanent basis. I feel as if someone's on the verge of a new day. That's what it feels like, the verge of something new or a new start. A lot of the collective in August, you could find yourself waking up earlier than usual. Or even trying new things. So there could be things that are presented to you where it's new and you're being urged to try these new things. Or you could be. There's something exciting, is what I want to say, that will happen in August. The number 23 with this, it could be around the 23rd of August. I'm hearing violet, so this could be a name or someone's favourite colour. Libra, Aries energy. Someone could also have a birthday on the 23rd of May. That's coming through. I'm seeing three glasses. So this could be a celebration in the month of August. It could be a reunion or a coming together, but I do get happy energy with these three glasses. The number 20 with this, so the 20th of August, could be significant for someone. I'm seeing the world. Um, the world. That could mean something. Someone could be travelling as well. Someone could be going to see the world. But I was going to say I'm seeing the word loved. And the initial F in a name. I feel it's a first name. Also the initial C and A as well. You just need to know that you're loved by spirit. The number 14 could be important with that message for someone. There's a lot of transformation that's going on in the month of um, August is what I want to say. And it's in regards to healing. Now some of you, you could have been going through the healing stages for quite a few months. But I feel... August, some your motivation is going to pick back up. You could be, like I said, you could be getting the urges to change things in your life. Um, like I said, it could be more exercise. It could be getting rid of a toxic habit, smoking, drinking, um, eating healthier, exercising more, getting out more, uh, deciding um, to leave technology alone for a while. The focus needs to be on you and will be on you in the month of August. I'm also seeing the word cat. So this could be significant to someone in August about a cat in particular. I 
there's also a car that's showing so this could be in regards to travel that happened someone taking a trip um someone visiting another or other people or someone could be getting a new car i don't want to say there's going to be issues with the car in august there could be but i'm feeling more of a trip with this car or visits taking place or someone getting a new car i'm seeing the name lance Pisces Leo energy. I'm also seeing question marks as well. I'm seeing two question marks. There could be questions that someone asks which leaves another person baffled. And I want to say something being turned on its head. Like someone could be thinking or actually saying to another, why ask that question? Again, someone feel, feeling baffled by another person's question or questions. Could be someone that's questioning you as well. But like I said, I do feel the month of August is a month of healing. But like I said, I do feel the healing started a few months back. But August, you'll start to pick back up with your strength, your energy levels, your vitality. And things will feel differently in your life as well. Like I said before, it's like waking up and the energy has shifted and you feel more alive than what you did before. There's going to be a shift in perspective and a shift with your energy in the month of August. I'm also picking up on Capricorn and Sagittarius energy as well. So it could be Capricorn or Sagittarius season where you'll probably start to see the shift more or start to feel it more. But I feel in the month of August, you're going to feel the shift anyway. So it could be around Sagittarius Capricorn season that you actually get to see the shift is what I want to say. Now, the word clothes is showing. I know these are good for a few things. Um, I know they can be used with pain relief like toothache. Um, they're also good for the indigestion as well, so someone may need to hear that. Or it could be that someone's um, cooking a lot with clothes. There's something about clothes. So that message is going to be significant to someone. I'm also seeing a donkey as well. Um, I'm getting peace with this donkey. After suffering that you've been going through, there's definitely something in the collective's life that is being healed. And I feel the month of August, peace will be being brought in or coming in. For someone, this peace will be in the uh, form of help or some kind of service to you. Because when you see a donkey, it's a good sign and it brings contentment into your life. I do feel this healing may be related to matters of the heart for some. And distancing yourself from toxic energies or putting a distance between you and others or another. I feel August is all about you and your peace. And I strongly feel you're not letting anyone or anything disturb your peace. Or this is the mindset that you need to be in. Things will be changing. And there's things, people, situations being left behind. I also want to say as well, Scorpio and Sagittarius season is going to be important. For some of you that chose this crystal ball, where I feel karma will be Closing out completely is what I want to say. There's a shift that will happen by November at the latest. Archangel Raphael is helping the collective who chose this crystal ball with problems you've been going through, whether this is physically or mentally. You're being guided out of all problems and issues. So I feel for you, the month of August, you're going to be feeling more at peace. There may be needing... There may be a need to sort, still sort out toxic people, energy situations to clear that out. But I feel the month of August, you're going to be doing this. And there's major healing that's taking place. You will feel it in the month of August. Come the end of the year, you will start to notice and see the changes. So I'm going to leave those messages there and I hope that helped. And thank you all for watching.